Okay, so this nut at the side should be free spinning and that should be free to turn on both sides. Okay, next we're gonna take the flexible manifold and we're just gonna pop that in place. And then you wanna put the tube in place and then you wanna wiggle it a little bit and that nut should be uh, tightenable by hand. You really don't want any torque to do that. Then a little bit of wiggling to get the second one in place. And you need to be very careful here not to cross thread the nuts. So make sure they're parallel when you put them in. Okay, that's tightening by hand now. Then once the threads are started by hand tight, we can use a wrench. Okay, and we just want to be that kind of tight, nothing too crazy. All right, then the last thing we want to do up is these locking nuts, which will seal the airing on the swedge lock elbow. Of course, I should be using a wrench of the right size. I'm just too lazy to go and find the wrenches and I had this adjustable right here okay and those two there are o-ring sealed so they just need to be nipped up then we can pressurize and that's it all good the last bit to note is I've got some old bits of uh, medium pressure hose from a regulator which I've cut into two or three centimeter length and then cut down the middle to allow me to slide it on but you can actually do the same job with shrink wrap the reason we want to do that is this is stainless steel and this is aluminium so if they touch we can get dissimilar metal galvanic action and lots of corrosion on the canister which we don't want